What's up guys, Cash back again, and this video is brought to you straight from the realm of random occurrences because I was honestly working on a totally different video for tonight when I stopped to respond to comments I saw coming from YouTube. By the way, thanks for always commenting guys, I try to read and reply to as many as I can. But I got a comment from Jorge Velez, and shout out to Jorge for putting me on the path that got us here. But he asked about a cube in a room behind Cerise at the anthill because he thought it might be a clue about Ultron, and wanted me to check it out and hear what I thought. So of course, I stopped what I was doing and went to go investigate. Turns out, it was just a reflection from something in the room. But that got me thinking, there could be a small clue about Roy or the cube at the anthill. So so I decided to look around before thinking, hey, let me find a containment unit that the cube is being stored in because maybe it's partially open or something, suggesting that Roy did in fact take the cube. Spoiler, it wasn't open. But as I was thinking about other possible clues I could look for, the idea hit me. And before I go any further, this theory is completely my own thoughts on how things could play out and not supported by any leaked information or rumors, it literally just popped in my head. And second, this theory only works if either Bucky comes after She-Hulk as we expect, or Ultron arrives as the villain for Bucky. But what I realized was that currently the Avengers have possession of the cube, and I think the common expectation is that Roy takes the cube, becomes sentient, and then ultimately becomes Ultron. But what happens when the Avengers eventually have to take the Cosmic Cube back from Ultron? That's where my theory comes in, and if you watch the Avengers Earth Mightiest Heroes, then you know exactly where I'm going with this, but for those of you unfamiliar with the show, in the episode Hell Hydra, Baron Strucker was captured by the Avengers while trying to obtain the Cosmic Cube from AIM, and in a last ditch effort, he makes an attempt to grab the cube and alter reality to his own vision, but Captain America grabs the cube at the same time and also makes a wish that will alter reality, but not on the scale that Strucker had in mind. Captain America simply wished that Bucky had survived back in World War II, and unbeknownst to him at the time, his wish actually came true, as we're shown Bucky's new fate at the end of the episode. But if Cap was able to get his hands on the Cosmic Cube in Avengers, he would 100% wish for Bucky to have survived, and we know that he still thinks about Bucky, because in the Extinction Key novel, he's thinking of Bucky when he's asking Doctor Strange about his ability to look back in time. So if Ultron does arrive in a game with She-Hulk, I can see this being a way to tease Bucky as the next hero after her, but if Ultron and Bucky were to come ahead of her as rumors are now suggesting, maybe Captain America interacts with the cube while Hank or Bruce are running tests on it or something, and slightly alters reality that way. It's honestly just a fun idea that I randomly had that I thought would be cool to see play out in the game if that's the route they chose to go with explaining how Bucky survived back in the day, and it's a nice little nod to Earth's Mightiest Heroes, which is still one of the best Avengers projects in all media. But let me know what you guys think of my theory down below, and what theories do you have about how Bucky's survival could be explained? Let me know down below, and make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe for more Marvel's Avengers content every week, and if you're interested in picking up Avengers merch, shop with fans and Demian, and make sure to use my code in the description to get an additional 10% off. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you on the next one.